What's up everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about the North Face Flight Vective. This is a pretty exciting shoe in my opinion from the North Face. It's got a full carbon fiber plate. It's meant for racing fast on the trails. Let's get into it. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do wanna let you know right off the top that I paid for this shoe with my own money and I've actually purchased two pairs and this is the cleanest of the two. And this is North Face's carbon fiber plate racing shoe and there's a couple other pairs in their lineup. We've got the Endurus, which is their kind of like max cushion uh, meant for those really, really long miles or ultra distance events. And then we have the Infinite, which is kind of in between these two and I'll kind of talk about a few of the differences as we go. But this is their full lineup and I've been testing them all and I'm excited to share all my thoughts with you on each of these shoes. But in this video, we're really just talking about the Flight Vective. So a couple stats to go over right away. In the heel, we have a 34 millimeter stack height and in the forefoot, a 28 millimeter stack height, giving you a six millimeter drop from heel to forefoot. And in my size 11.5, this weighed in at 11.47 ounces, which equals 325 grams. And I do have two pairs of this shoe. This is, like I said, the cleanest of the two pairs. Uh, and the reason why I had two pairs is because my first pair, uh, uh, I put about 50 miles in it and then I knew that this was going to be my race shoe for the Indiana Trail 100 and so I got a brand new pair a couple weeks before and did a run or two in it. So I've got two pairs of shoes that have over 50 miles in it. So I've been able to kind of like test this shoe out and I feel like I have a pretty good handle on what this is meant for and what it offers. So first up, the fit. For me, size 11.5 fit just fine. And I do always talk about this and the sizing and everything because a lot of people ask in the comment sections, like, does this translate to the same size in an Ultra or a Nike or anything like that? So yes, this size just fine, didn't have any issues with that. The heel has a really good lock and the forefoot actually offers a little bit more room than say like a Hoka or something like that. Definitely not as much as an Ultra or Nike, but it's kind of like a good middle ground of having this kind of like race feel through the heel in the middle foot and then the forefoot giving you just a little bit extra space for those toes to splay. So talking about comfort, this is one of the things that did not impress me right out of the box. Uh, I actually had some significant issues with it and almost gave up on this shoe within the first 10 miles. I'm glad I didn't in the long run, but the reason why is because there are these carbon fiber, I'll just call them like fins or something. They're an extension of the plate that goes from heel to toe. And on both sides of the shoe, there's these two little things that come out and stick out and they actually come up into the upper. When you run trails, your feet do move side to side because you're not running on flat ground all the time. And so when your foot kind of pushes to the edge of the upper, these carbon fiber fins that stick out, which I believe are purely cosmetic, actually cause some pretty significant problems for me. And I almost abandoned trying these shoes out within the first couple hours. I am happy to say though that they did kind of, I guess, break in and after a few hours they quit causing me issues. Other than that though, this shoe is really great for comfort. Uh, like I said, it really has this kind of like locked in feel in the heel and the midfoot. Definitely feels like a racing shoe, gives you a little bit extra room up front. The upper has this knit material over the toes and over the forefoot, and it gives you a lot of breathability, a lot of flexibility. You almost don't even feel like you have a shoe on. The tongue, actually, there really is no tongue. This is a booty style shoe, and so you just slip your foot right in, and there is some tension that holds your foot in there. And for me, I didn't even really have to tie the laces that tight just because of the way this shoe fit on my foot. On both sides, they have a Kevlar lined material that is supposed to be incredibly durable, and I, have to say I didn't have any issues with that at all. The heel counter is nice, it definitely held my foot in there, but this part that goes across your Achilles does stick up a little bit higher than normal and it is curved in right out of the box and so you do have to kind of break that in a little bit, which I was a little surprised about. Inside the heel counter, there is a really nice padding that really keeps your heel locked down in there, but most of this upper is a fabric upper and it's just really flexible, Really, you feel like you're not really wearing a trail shoe anymore. You definitely feel like you're wearing something that's made 
need to race. I do have to say though, the tongue is not gonna work for everybody. If you are someone that really likes to just like really like brutalize your foot by tightening your laces a lot, uh, this is gonna start folding over and probably cause you some hot spots like all up and down the tongue. And there's just no getting around that when you design a shoe like this. Uh, for me, it ended up working because of the natural tension. I just kind of preferred it that way. But I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there that will just absolutely not like this. <laughs> Moving on, we'll talk about the ride. And this is where the carbon fiber plate really comes in. Two things going on here that make this shoe a little bit unique. Uh, the one being the carbon fiber plate that goes from heel to toe. That is just noticeable right from the get go. It's not something that's going to shave hours off of your ultra race time, but it is something that is going to give you a small percentage benefit that you will notice over many, many miles. The other thing that's going on with this shoe is that there is a very aggressive rocker. I really had a good time running in this shoe because you just feel like once you get into your running stride, you feel like your foot is launching forward. So those two things, the carbon fiber plate and the rocker really do set the shoe apart. One of my concerns would be with the midsole though, right around the 35 mile mark in both pairs that I have of this shoe. I just felt like it started to not give me back as much as it was giving back right out of the box. I don't want to say that the midsole was flattening out or anything like that. Uh, it was just somewhere around there. It just started to feel a little bit like I felt a little bit less return than I was getting earlier. Don't know if this shoe is going to be a three or 400 mile shoe. All right, let's talk about the performance of the Flight Vective and this being North Face's premium trail running shoe. I really expected a lot out of this and it did deliver. Again, the carbon fiber plate and the rocker really give you a lot of energy back on every step. Uh, this surface control rubber that North Face is using uh, just gripped really, really well on all different types of terrain and in all different types of weather. And that's one thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, I took this shoe out several times in nasty weather, uh, just like pouring rain, muddy, flooded trails, and this shoe performed really well. The outsole rubber gripped great. This knit upper really did help expel water as I was running. I just never really felt like this shoe was gaining a ton of weight. I never felt like it was just like holding a ton of water or anything like that. Uh, I just had a really good time actually running in the rain and mud in this shoe. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to perform that well in super dusty conditions or places that have a lot of debris flying around because this fabric upper there was just like dust kind of goes right through it like a screen door and the heel collar doesn't do that great with rocks and debris flying around they do kind of get trapped in there and one of the reasons why is because every time your uh, ankle flexes that opens up this big space back here behind your Achilles tendon and all shoes kind of do this but for some reason the flight vective seemed to kind of exaggerate this a little bit more than normal and I did have quite a few times where rocks or debris would get in there and then I would have to kind of fish them out or or even take the shoe off completely. So I do think that you are gonna have to be sort of selective as far as what types of environments you take this shoe out into. All right, moving on to the appeal of this shoe. Does it make you wanna run? When you see the Flight Vective sitting on your shelf, does it make you just wanna strap it on and go crush some trails? And for me, the answer is 100% yes. Like, I absolutely love the way this shoe looks. I love this highlighter yellow. The other versions I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, give me more colors, give me bright stuff. I love it. Thank you. North Face. There are a few spots that I do think need to be refined a little bit though, like where the midsole meets the upper. Some of it just doesn't really line up, but there are a lot of fun things going on with this shoe. And I do appreciate North Face for giving us some bright colors to run out on the trails with. All right, so wrapping up, what's the deal? What do I think of the North Face Flight Vective? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, this shoe has a lot of things that I think a lot of people are gonna have big issues with to the point where they probably won't be able to run in this shoe. For me though, I actually dodged all of them or they worked in my favor uh, because this has become one of my favorite trail running shoes of 2021. It's light, it's nimble, it's snappy, it's pretty minimal. Uh, I just felt like it worked in harmony with my foot. I didn't ever feel like I had to force it to do anything. Uh, and I did feel the benefit in the long run uh, or a race of having that carbon fiber plate in there. I was also wearing the shoe on trails that were pretty well maintained and not dusty, uh, very runnable trails. I think that this shoe really shines in those situations. And I do appreciate that the shoe is niching down on kind of that fast running on trails. This is meant to race in. It's not meant to be a daily trainer shoe, in my opinion. It's not meant to be super burly tough running up and down mountains with huge rocks and boulders like it's meant to run fast on trails that are runnable so is the north face flight vective worth the 200 dollars price tag personally 
I think it is for the right person. I do not think that everybody should go buy this shoe. I think it'll be a waste of money for a lot of people because A, you might not find it comfortable at all. You might not be able to run in it. B, it might not really serve your running style or your terrain. Uh, but I think if this shoe matches your running style, your terrain, I think this could be a really good investment, especially if you're looking for a race shoe that is going to maximize performance. I will definitely say though that you need to try this shoe on and you need to go on at least one or two runs in it because you might run into the same problem that I did with these carbon fiber fins that stick out for no reason. Or you might really have a problem with the way that this upper is designed without a real tongue uh, because this shoe is a very unique shoe. There's a lot of different stuff going on. It's trying to innovate. It's trying to push the boundaries of what a trail running shoe is. and. I really appreciate that. So there's gonna be a small group of people that it really works well for. And if you find yourself in that group, you're gonna absolutely love this shoe. So that's it. That's my opinions on the North Face Flight Vective. Uh, like I said, those other shoes, the Endurus and the Infinite, I'm gonna have reviews on those as well because I've been trying out this whole line from North Face and I've been pleasantly surprised with what I've found. I did not really expect North Face to be a contender as far as my some of my favorite trail running shoes of this year. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you liked it or if you have some more questions, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you again soon. Bye.